It's been a while since you've raced, Jack. So let's take your vehicle out on the track, and I'll go over the basics. Hit the gas, Jack. Brakes are there when you feel the urge, but knowing you, they won't be the first thing on your mind. Hit the brakes, Jack. Holding down the brake will stop your racer and put it into reverse. Hit reverse, Jack. Good! Feel the controls? Your racer has great steering response. And trust me, you'll need it for some of the more challenging courses. Green Eco powers your vehicle's damage control. When you pick up Green Eco, you repair damage on your vehicle. Not bad! You finished your first training. Get ready for the next round. Feels nice to be back in the saddle, huh, Jack? Okay, take the vehicle out for a spin and let's see what you've got. Pick up some blue eco. Watch your turbo meter for how much juice you've got in the tank and use it when you really want to burn up the track. Your meter says you've got turbo power. Use it, Jack, and drop the hammer. Oh yeah, now that's speed. Trust me, you'll need it. Now you've mastered turboing. Let's move on to the next round of training. You can use the e-brake to get into a power slide on turns. You'll need to use power slides to get around aggressive corners. Try getting into a slide, Jack. Now hold the brake down, turn, and hang on! Power sliding and hang time add to your turbo meter. Try that again, Jack. Pull a 180 turn by holding down the emergency brake. Get up to speed and give it a try. You're looking good. If you want to catch a little air, use the car's jump jets. Jump jets give you a little boost off the ground when you need it and will maximize your hang time. Try jumping, Jack. If you want to catch a little air, use the car's jump jets. Jump jets give you a little boost off the ground when you need it, and will maximize your hang time. Try jumping, Jack. If you want to catch a little air, use the car's jump jets. Jump jets give you a little boost off the ground when you need it, and will maximize your hang time. Try jumping, Jack. Picking up Eco will power up your car and give you lots of options while you race. Try picking up a little yellow Eco. When you pick it up, the Eco will be processed and an energy weapon will come online. An icon will appear telling you what weapon you've got. That icon means you have missiles. There are different weapons Yellow Eco will give you, and the icons tell you which one you currently have available. Each weapon is unique, and 
Each has strategic advantages in different situations. You'll have to experiment with each type to find your favorite. You also have a dark eco meter. You can power that up by using your weapon. The more you use them, the higher the meter will go. The higher the dark eco meter, the more powerful your weapons will get. Your dark eco's maxed. Dark eco makes your weapons more powerful until you crash. Here's a little pain. you know about yellow eco let's move on okay let's try something new red eco is for rear weapons try picking up red eco that icon says you now have a red eco mine you can activate a red powered weapon with its own special fire button Remember, this button will only discharge red weapons, and they go out the back. Try dropping a mine, Jack. Good job! That'll give someone a headache. Oh no! Some of Mizo's gang are on the track! Look out! He's launched a missile! Drop a mine as a counter move! Nice! Completed your training. Now let's see if you can hang with the big boys. <laughs> 